You can see it's a lovely sunny day. You can see I need a haircut, but that's not what we're looking at. Been working on uh, trying to figure out how to dump the pup with my old international truck. And I think I've got her, so we'll uh, show you what I did. And then go get a kid and do the acid test and then see if it works or if I delete the video. Here we go. Okay, so here we go in this truck has uh, just a, a little PTO hydraulic pump. Okay, so this uh, truck is set up with a hydraulic system for like a dual acting cylinder, like every hydraulic cylinder, nearly every hydraulic cylinder has a piston side and a rod side and, and you either, you hook it up with one and the other and you push it up, you push it down. But with, with a gravel pup, it's only single acting, right? So then when you put oil in the bottom of the cylinder, it extends, 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 and then it's trapped in there, and you've got to release it back into the tank. So this is what we did. I rigged up, and I didn't have enough oil capacity, of course. So I rigged up this uh, propane tank and drilled some, uh, uh, drilled some holes and did some welding. And all I did was just spin the valve out the top, fill it full of water, tip it upside down, drill a hole in the bottom, and then a hole in the side here. So now, when my hydraulic valve is closed, this is the pressure side. So when I pull the lever back, it pushes oil instead of going into my old dumps. It goes, because this is closed, it goes through and follow the big line into the pup raise the box but you can't release it backwards through that oil so when I've got her full or when it's raised then I can just stop raising it and then I can open this valve and then the pressure will be bled back into the tank and I, you can see I went through the corner of the tank so that it's not foaming and everything right it'll just swirl so it uh should work that way i hope and then underneath on my tank here i put a valve obviously with uh so i welded that that nipple straight through the bottom of the tank put the valve on and then did this fuel line uh, uh fuel hose and it just goes straight into the top of oh, that's too much backlight goes into the top of the tank. You see there's the PTO and the control and stuff. And so then this tank fills right into the top of that other one. So, so then when that pump over there underneath runs out of oil, it won't because now we've got extra capacity. And then when it's full, uh, when you raise the thing, then you just drain it and it'll flow back into here. That's the plan and I, Unless I've really screwed up, it should work. So now I'll go get some kid to to uh, demonstrate it and see if we're laughing or looking stupid. Okay, so here's the acid test. And the reason why I'm going to be using this thing is because it's 10 times the trailer structurally as that dump trailer. Good brakes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll give the phone to the kid and fire it up and then see if we have success or hang our head in shame. Here we go.
ones that don't run out of oil capacity. This is the first time I've ever, ever raised this box. Propane tank, propane tank. When I poured a five gallon bale of oil in there, it filled it half full. I don't have no idea how much volume we need to get with here. Or two bales, two, three bales, or what, I don't know. But it's working. Well, slow and steady wins the race, hopefully. I'll, uh, here, come take the phone just in case I run out of hydraulic oil. And then at some point we'll probably have to, like, speed it up so it looks like it's fast. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's see if it'll race how high. That's probably my capacity of oil right there. I would assume my tank is dry. Let's check. Yep, suck the tank dry. Up all that oil plus probably everything that's in the reservoir there, which is only a couple gallons. Okay, now here's the acid test because you should be able to drop it by just kicking this out, right? That's quieter. So, because there's pressure on this line, we should be able to just open this and it'll spool back into the tank and drop the box. Ready? And if I want to stop it, I stop it. It seems to be working. Yeah, thing of beauty, eh? Mm -hmm. Brand new trailer like that that was built when I was, before I could ride a bicycle. <laughs> cool. But it does that. That's exactly what I was hoping it would do, other than I, it, it doesn't surprise me I ran out of oil because there's a lot of volume in that cylinder, right? So how much oil is in it now? So, up to here then. Cool. So, success, mostly. Well, success. I filled the tank up to about here. Tried her again. So I don't have enough capacity to raise a wagon, I don't think, because there'll be one more stage on the hydraulic volume. But it raised it to the very top on that, so we certainly wouldn't have any trouble getting any firewood out. And as you can see, it's a brand new box. Anyway. So my next hope is figure out how to get my tailgates to latch properly or so I can control them with the air. And then I'll probably want to put higher sides on, put some extra 3x12s on the sides in the back so that it's four feet high. But it works. So I'm happy about that. Okay. So I will turn the valve and then we'll watch it drop. I guess. Okay, so we'll flow it back into the tank and then watch the thing drop. You can hear it coming back in the tank anyway. Oh, there's a spectator. Whee! This is like a carnival ride for toddlers. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, I think we're all good, except uh, we've got an oil leak here, so I'll need to fix the O-rings in that, but it works. Excellent.